Today, September 4, 2020, is the first Friday of the month. It is, also the it is also the Friday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. Mass Intentions or 12.15 p.m. Online Holy Mass. Petitions for the complete healing and fast recovery of Father George Militante, Father Felix Verlan, Father Leonard Robert McManus, Arnold Piner, Jacinta Patalinghug, Walter Dejos, Francis, Mark Bukiron, Nonoy and Bernadette Irizari, Cynthia, Chu and Mercado families, Ephraim Sawal, Eileen, Elizar, Chrisan, Ellie and Clifford Ellie, Nelly Arellano, Leonardo Del Pilar, Fenita Pacubas, Columbe, Karen Ralios, Alfe Montero, Paulo Sempron, Sharon Hopia, Miraflor, Delia Vanzo, Trixie Ilaya. For the safety, protection, and spiritual strength of the members of the CIT High School Batch 72. For the protection, guidance, enlightenment, and good health of Dr. Roslia Alfaro, Mary Ann Pearl Alfaro, Peblia Alfaro, Wagas and Demapi families, Proisner family, Marnil and Drina, Tarsicio Salva, Haka Kabatingan and Glim family. For the safety of all the teachers and pupils of Punta Princesa Elementary School and all schools of Cebu City Division for the school year 2002-2021. For the good intentions of Maria Divina Andrina Gerald Arcamo, for the success of the business of Pearl Enterprises, P and P Real Estate Lesser and Peblia Residences, for the successful business venture of Nilda Castello, for the intentions of the members of Santo Nino devotees of Southern California, for the safety and successful delivery of Dr. Raquel Omo Marcelo's baby, for the safety, protection, and healing of all frontliners in the Philippines. Thanksgiving for all the graces received by the families of Arnold Piner, Magzine Lord Abadia, Nalwin Castro, Mary Rose Ruella del Campo, Marlu Castro Ruella, Josephine Castro, Miguel Castro, Castro Clan, Lourdes Segundino, Pura Ann Marie, Raymond John Allen, Joben Benedict, Mrs. Peblia Alfaro, Engineer Mary Ann Pearl Alfaro, Doctora Roslia Alfaro and family, Proisner family, Sigmund family, Bullio family, Miraflo Miraflor Delia Vanzo, Trixie Ilaya, Terdes family, Reynes family, Boy and Joy Haka, Janet Cabero and family. For the blessings received of the members of the CIT High School Batch 72, for the 17th birthday of Jaire James Dick, 6th birthday of Lucas Franco Alcaraz, for the birthday of Maria, Marie Angeli Camingao and Herman Mirafuentes. For the eternal repose of the following souls, Antonio, Basilisa, Neil, John, Candelaria, Alex, Ryan, Alvin, Lani, Leo, Andres, Senior and Junior, Tiburcia, Efren, Innocente, Concepcion, Estanislao, William, Manuel, Gloria, Joe, Gigi, Lucas, Trinidad, Resencia, Elma, Pedro, Senior and Junior, Felix, Nicolasa, Alfreda, Jose, Benjamin, Silvestra, Francisco, Genoveva, Jesus, Andrew, Arturo, Senior, Alfredo, Senior, Lamberto, Senior, Innocencia, Marie, Romeo, Carmen, Manuel, Juicy, Josefina, Trinidad, Lucas, Grace, La Lucha. Renato Rosalia David Joseph Veronidia, Emilio Tabar Alea Fabular Melesio Sr., Gorgonia Leandro Cirila Caetano Canuto Adriana, Romualdo Nicanora Sr., Rene Luis Argentina Prosperos Blasilda, 
Pedro Luisita Sr. Joe R. Harris Felicidad Jesus, Agapito Luisa Isabel Timoteo, Fe Antonia, Milagros Benito Maria, Maria Luz, Pedro Aquilino Macario Mario, Honorato Lucy Alex, Eva Edita Hermogena Tomas, Eddie Anunciacion Epifania Josefina Remedios, Gregorio Pasita Roberto Saturnina Julian Ernesto, Esperanza Clemencia Virgilio Fernanda Eugenio, Antonio Aleila Anesita Rosalia Augusto Jovi, Rosalinda Graciela Salvatore Lito Alejandrino, Ana Lee Father Ben Macajis Asubidi, Ignacio Senior and Junior Celestina, Ignacio Ramoncito Edgardo Romulo Senior Tomas Felicidad, Jose Hermine Hilda Yolanda Oscar Nikki Ben Senior, Socorro Manuelita Daniel Visitacion Lorenzo Victoria Susana. Anita and Lolita Ermac, Melchor and Primitiva Ocampo, Lourdes and Bell Sofia Ordonia, Melesio Redoble Sr., Nelson Sanoy, Nolan Tapales, Alpijo Agravante, Klaus Dieter Estanislao, Max and Elfrida, Hannah Lore and Willie, Albert and Adelheid, Marcelo, Jennifer, Sunny, Sergio Visitacion, Hilario Primo Hospicio, Josefina Ferdinand, Game. Camila Moises Expedita Encarnacion, Maria Gina, Marvin, Pedro, Roland, Jose, Eugenio, Asuncion, Mamerto, Narciso, Robinson, Virgilio, Felipa, Anesita, Bernadita, Gary, Edith, Ramon, Brigida, Magdalena, Pacienza, Pacienza John, Ray, Carol, Felicitas, Andres, Bartolome, Jose, Charlita, Salvador, Braulia, Marcelina, Fedencio, Eugenio, Sofronio, Illuminada, Lolita, Asuncion, Eloida, Olderico, Sr., Antonio, Maria, Sakai, Maria, Capote, Opro, Mantua, Rebecca, Linganay, Silveria, Fernando, Higino, Alberto, Brittany, Jen, Vladimir, Claire, Leonora, Baldomera, Martin, Rosario, Diego, Sr., Flor de Luna, Catalino, Juana, Marcosa, Luis, Noni, Alere, Maria, Maria Barreda, Lilia Cortez, Nora Cruz, Gregoria Dampok, Amalia Quirong, Patrocinio Mendoza, Isabelita Napala, Esther Soque, Ladet Tocmo, Godofredo Adioscoro Kapangpangan, Juan Adiopronia Kapangpangan, Caridad Formoso, Jonathan Sotes, Gina Kapangpangan, Rufina Bartolaba, Telma Cabornay, May Lynn Sagario, Arturo Sr., Marcelina, Father Jose Bosch, Sebastian Esther Boyce, Dewey William Vicente Caridad, Rudy Vicario and Anatalio Anastasio Pastor Dolores Herminio Jean Marino Verina Suping Liber Abet Perla Bonita Ditas James Constancio Linda Zenzen Gerardo Soring Canoto Leono, Leonora Vivencio Sr. Bergel Beberlin Vivencio Jr. Noni Lu Sr. Lourdes Asuncion Godofredo Mr. and Mrs. Del Pilar Rosario Mateo Castora Angel Marciana Juana Alfreda Rafael Leticia Ali Jose Alfredo Vicenta Albert Terdes Jesus Sr. Erlinda Amparo Marvin Melesia Emmanuel Maria Corazon Rebecca Saturnino Ernesto Del Mar Nanning Ronald Rosario Sal, Pedrito Alforque, Auxilium Alforque, Eleuterio, Juanita Apolonio, Francisco Cleofe, Jorgensen, Claire de los Santos, Arnulfo Omali, Solidad Sagarino, Crescenciana Jaime, Mario Ipon, Rub Ruben Bueno, Lonilon Bahinting, Eva Alcomendras, Dina and Felix Montero, Gloria Somalinog, Denis Jose Cañete, Leonides Nadal, Jerónimo and Lydia Destua, Badomero Nadal Jr., Antonio Ayala Esperanza, Anza Jose Isabel Virgilio, Exaltacion Teresita Josefa Agustin Catalino, Imaculada Illuminado Herminia Borja, Omi Cruz, Ponchonita Nadal, Marciano Salajeron Sr., Leonora Salajeron, Juanito Nadal, Cesar Carbonilla, Evelyn Pilar, Verna Soberano, Jean Seifert, Rodolfo Lorenzo, Alberto Sr., Sabina Telma, Herlan Demetrio Sr., Bandilia Cometa, Erlinda, Edelberto, Constancio, Pepito, Florencia, Cabatingan, Weda, Nif, Elena, Oping, Victor, Bertin, Gorio, Enis, Genio, Tinay, Merto, Rita, La Lucha, Inigo Sr., Angeline, Jesus, Florencia, Bart, Virgie, Mike, Boy, Jingle, Donato, Angelina, Paulina, Demetrio, Constancio, Pepita, for all the souls of the members of the CIT High School Batch 72, for 
Marnie Ayapana, 40 days of Edna Cabase, 9th day of Humilita Alvear, Andre Mabatid, birthday of the late Cristina Baricuatro and Edna de la Peña, death anniversary of Gracilda del Mar and Rogelio Guerra, for all the souls in purgatory, batchmates of class PPES, batch 1975, for the departed members of MPHS batch, 69, departed priests and religious, the forgotten souls, and those who died of COVID-19. Let us now prepare ourselves for the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this Eucharistic celebration on this first Friday of the month of September. We remember Jesus in a special way and the sacred heart that he has given us on the cross. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord pardon for our faults and failures. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and steward of the mystery of God. Now it is, of course, required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts, and then everyone will receive praise from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant your heart request. Response. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. Response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Criminals are destroyed and the posterity of the wicked is cut off. Response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Response, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, 
The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same. But yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins. And no one who has been drinking old wine desires new for he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Earlier this morning, past 9 a.m., I asked two of our staff in the office if they have already taken their breakfast. But they kept silent and hesitated to answer. So I answered for them, saying in mixed Cebuano and Tagalog, Hindi pa ano? Nga ano man? Nagpuasa ba ka mo? Ah, siguro nga. Kasi first Friday ngayon. Since I was asking them a battery of questions, they could not reply to any of those questions. Then when I mentioned it was first Friday of the month, then that's the only time they replied, Oo nga, no? First Friday pala ngayon. Brothers and sisters, we Catholics strive to observe the church rule on fasting twice a year, one on Ash Wednesday and the other on Good Friday. However, there are times when we can also choose to observe a day of fasting even when it is not commanded by the church. Let's say every first Friday of the month, in union with the Passion of Christ. We can offer this sacrifice particularly in reparation for the sins against our Lord and for the conversion of sinners. Some of you, I guess, are already doing this. Some of you omit their lunch just to be able to come to Mass. However, there are other times when we are simply forced by the situation to fast, either because we have so, either we have so much food on table or money in our pocket but have no time to eat, or we have so much time for eating but unfortunately have no food to eat. What do we do when we find ourselves in these situations? Should we complain to God or to our parents who did not work hard enough or to our bosses who are slave drivers? Well, I guess even if we choose to complain, there is really nothing much we can do. We will just be adding more weight to the burden we are already carrying on our shoulders. I believe the best thing to do in this situation is to make a kind request to the person who is in the position to do something about the problem. Or otherwise, we can just say a silent but earnest prayer to God to grant us what we need most in that difficult or unpleasant situation. Now, even if this would not work, then as followers of Christ, we can grab that situation as an opportunity 
to offer some sacrifice to God in union with the pains and sufferings of Jesus on the cross. Today, as we continue walking with Jesus following the footsteps of St. Luke, we see Jesus for the first time having a clash with the Jewish authorities who were complaining to him about the seemingly comfortable and scandalous lifestyle of his disciples. While their own disciples and those of John the Baptist were strictly observing Jewish days of fasting and prayer, they wonder why Jesus' disciples were somehow exempted from it. In response, Jesus first chooses to have a peaceful dialogue with them. He avoided quarreling with them. After listening to the sentiments of their hearts and fully aware that they were knowledgeable of the law, he tries to bring them to a simple but higher level of understanding in interpreting the scriptures. And he did it by making use of analogy and parables, like the analogy of the bridegroom or the parable of the wine and the wineskins. Certainly, guests do not fast when the bridegroom is still with them. Certainly, new wine is never poured into old wineskins. These things are very easy for Jewish for his Jewish listeners to understand. For us, what Jesus just wants to say is this. If you want to walk along with me towards a new and eternal life, you have to open your hearts and your minds and empty them of old mentalities and obsolete habits. Empty them of old mentalities and obsolete habits. Of course, Jesus was not totally against Jewish customs and traditions of his time. What he just wanted to teach is the importance of God in our lives and of Jesus as the main focus of our faith and of our religious practices. Jesus is supposed to be the center of everything we think, say, and do. As Christians, if you find yourself today being forced to fast, even if it is not required by the law, then welcome such a situation with a fresh new mind, that is, with the mind of Christ. If you find yourself in a situation of great abundance, then consider it as God blessing you and take it as an opportunity not only to thank the Lord, but also to share these blessings with those who do not have. We cannot go on practicing our Catholic faith with the old mentality we used to have. Jesus, with his gospel, is always new every passing day, and he needs fresh minds and hearts ready for whatever challenge may come along the way. God is good. Sobra, sobra, sobra. Please all stand. Let us pray to God, our Father, that he bring us closer to the values of the gospel to renew the church and the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing any ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer, that the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those afflicted by COVID-19, in particular way, for a friend named Edgar and his kids, that they may experience the healing power of Jesus and be protected from evil and from death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers and teach us the art of living as a new people set free by the love of Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, give us your only begotten Son. Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us, with a wonderful love, and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. Grateful to God for the love we experienced in Jesus, let us now pray to Him as Jesus Himself taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of, that comes from Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are now invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please be seated for a while. To maintain physical distancing, we will receive Holy Communion by pews or by rows. Wait for the usherettes to instruct you when it is your turn. They will guide you where to stand and how to return to your seats. The yellow and gray markings on the floor will serve as your guide. Thank you for your cooperation as always. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be ever separated from you. Amen. As I wander through my days in darkness And I'm feeling weak, alone and small in your presence I regain my confidence With your mercy I can carry on I know you're here, alive in our communion Amazing love, becoming Of 
of our salvation With Mary here beside me I am here to praise my God Lord, you have known me You've proud me You know what's deep in my heart I know you're here, alive in our communion. Amazing love, becoming bread and wine. Your sacrifice, the gift of our salvation. With Mary here beside me, I am here. To praise my God. Please all stand. Let us pray. Made by partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and married to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please all kneel. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for these disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of the virus and to save us from our fears. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady Health of the Sick. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud. Pray for us. Saint John Bosco. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Please be seated for a while. To maintain physical distancing on our way out, we have two exits. Those seated at the left will use the left exit. Those seated at the right will use the right exit. We will go out to the church by pew or by row. After the final blessing, please remain seated and wait for the usherettes to instruct you when it is your turn. The red and gray markings on the floor will serve as your guide to the exit. Thank you for your cooperation as always. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in our Eucharistic celebration. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Ari nga gamay Hatag ang unta kaming lunaw Diha sa dughan mo Ari nga gamhanan Ari sa tanan Walay tupong ang pagmahal Thank you.